Okay, so it's Beautiful Creatures meets Twilight meets Harry Potter uh, meets Pan's Labyrinth meets Lord of the Rings meets Alice in Wonderland meets Little Red Riding Hood uh, meets Hellboy meets Pirates of the Caribbean meets the Spiderwick Chronicles meets City of Ember meets The Sorcerer's Apprentice uh, meets Percy Jackson and the Olympians The Lightning Thief meets The Seeker The Dark is Rising meets Inkheart meets Dylan Dog Dead of Night but not as sucky uh, meets The Chronicles of Narnia Voyage of the Dawn Treader uh, meets Legion uh, with the angels, but again, not as sucky. Oh, okay. uh, meets that miniseries Neverwhere, a little bit of Blade. Uh, meets Clash of the Titans, the remake. Uh, meets Snow White and the Huntsman. Meets Mirror Mirror. Meets the Never Ending Story. A little bit of Labyrinth thrown in. Uh, meets Iragan. Meets Van Helsing. Meets the Brothers Grimm. Uh, meets Stardust. Meets Hansel and Gretel, Witch Hunters. But with a new hip, modern, supernatural vampire, zombie, mummy, witch, monster, romance, sci fi, kung fu, bullet time, action, fantasy, super superhero, blog rock, 3D, CGI-filled female empowerment thriller vibe uh, based on a recent book for the 13 to 24-year-old comic book reading, tweeting, digital tweener YouTube generation, but with shadow hunters. It's kind of like a Guillermo del Toro, Neil Gaiman, Edgar Wright, Joss Whedon, J.J. Abrams, Peter Jackson, Christopher Nolan, David Fincher, Hayao Miyazaki, Tim Burton, George Lucas, James Cameron type movie, uh, but for girls. We already have Phil Collins' daughter attached, and that dude from Sherlock Holmes is interested. What's it called? It's called The Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. Here's your check. Thanks. I'm buying a boat.